All right, finally back behind the camera again. Been a little while, um, but just want to take a few minutes to show you some books that were sent to the ministry. Um, friend of the ministry sent us a lot of neat books over the years, and uh, thank you very much. You know who you are for sending these books. Always has very interest, interesting uh, books selections to send us, which you'll see here as I show you some of these. I have them down here on the floor. I'm going to show you a couple of these, uh, what was sent. And there's one that's really neat. I mean, this is going to be, it's, I saw it and I thought, okay, that's one of the most unique books I, in my entire collection. I really like it. I'm tempted to show you right now, but I'm going to make you wait till the end. I know it's terrible, isn't it? But um, here we have Church and State in Latin America, J. Lloyd Meacham or Meacham, I guess, or whatever. So that looks like an interesting book, kind of a unique subject. Don't have anything on that. Serbia's Secret War, Propaganda and the Deceit of History by Philip J. Cohen. Interesting looking book. <clears throat> the History of Freemasonry by Albert Gallatin Mackey. Albert Mackey is a leading Masonic philosopher. So that should be interesting. Give us some interesting uh, insights into that into the whole Freemasonry thing. Interesting little uh, thing there on the back. Looks kind of Trinitarian to me, but we won't go there. At least not yet. <laughs> Ignatian Humanism by Ronald Modras. Dynamic Spirituality for the 21st Century. <laughs> uh, professor of Theology at St. Louis University. Jesuit school there. Um, interesting. You know, where he finds these books, I'll never know. But there's the guy right there that wrote it. Papist there. But uh, I'm going to keep going here. Walt Disney, Hollywood's Dark Prince by Mark Elliott. I look, it's another interesting looking book. Um, office Memorandum, U.S. Government on the back. Talk about some of the military intelligence stuff that was going on with the Walt Disney. If you don't know about some of that stuff, you need to look into it. Don't uh, you don't want uh, your children to be raised on Disney films and stuff. It's bad stuff. Nazi gold: the full story of the 50-year Swiss Nazi conspiracy to steal billions from Europe's Jews and Holocaust survivors. Uh, ferreted away to the Vatican, by the way, too. I might add, but another. Very interesting looking book. <laughs> the Feminist Papers from Adams to Du Bois or whatever. Alice C. Rossi. Might be have some interesting quotes in there. Oh boy. Uh, President's Secret Wars by John Prattis. Looks interesting. The um, Meaning of Masonry, W. L. Wilm, Wilmshurst. Another book on Freemasonry. The International Encyclopedia of Secret Societies and Fraternal Orders. Also looks rather interesting. Know Thyself, Unveiling the Allegories of the Symbolic Degrees. Um, <clears throat> right there. Produced by ARS Collegium uh, Cathedral School of Masonic Studies. Down there at the bottom you can see that. Introduction to Freemasonry. Uh, the third degree there, the Master Mason degree. I guess this is what they must give initiates or something. <laughs> Fun stuff. I don't like I said, I don't know where he gets this stuff. Pretty amazing. Um, <clears throat> charting the Masora, creation through Geonim by Rabbi Zechariah Fendel. Interesting. <clears throat> 
Dirty little secrets. Military information you're not supposed to know. <laughs> Might have be uh, some interesting things in that as well. The military has plenty of dirty little secrets. Uh, the Nazis and the Occult, The Dark Forces Unleashed by the Third Reich, by Paul Roland. They definitely were involved in some really weird stuff. I do know about that. Researched a little bit myself. The Counter-Reformation, A.G. Dickens. Interesting. What the Jesuits were founded for. The Counter-Reformation. The Mishnah, translated from the Hebrew with introduction and brief exp explanatory notes, if I can say it correctly there, Herbert Danby. So, I've heard of this thing, never read it or anything else, so interesting thing for documentation. The Net Bible, N-E-T Bible, um, with 57,875 translator's notes. <laughs> interesting. I do not have a net Bible. Um, good night. There's a lot of notes. You can see there the notes on the bottom area. Hmm. Definitely an interesting thing there. Catholicism by Richard P. McBrien. A new study edition of the classic that has sold over 100, 150,000 copies. I don't know if I've ever heard of this one, but there it is. And we're still not at the, the really cool one yet, though. Get back to that one. But this is a unique one, too. A Korean English King James Bible. I thought that was a, definitely a unique one for the study there. I have no chance of, of understanding what the Korean text says there. You can see it. But very interesting. And certainly if I ever meet a Korean in the area here I'll, and they need a King James Korean parallel Bible, I'll let them have this one. But uh, neat one, definitely neat one for the study. Study Bible and Ellen G. White comments. King James Version for Seventh-day Adventist people out there. be interesting to see what that devil-possessed nut that she was will have to say. Uh, here we have King James Study Bible. This one might just be sort of a, um, just kind of a, you know, extra spare copy of the King James I give to somebody. I have quite a few of those too. Locally, I'm talking about. I kind of hesitate to um, send them to people online and things because you never know who you're sending them to. This is a leather edition of the Rainbow Study Bible. I have a Rainbow Study Bible here somewhere in paperback. Not sure where it is right now. But, um, yeah, I have one somewhere in paperback, but the thing's falling, about, falling apart. But it's, a, it's an interesting, you know, study Bible. Different, uh, it's color-coded for prophecy for, you know... Uh, salvation, doctrine, whatever. So, um, yeah, there it is. God is in purple, discipleship in kind of a orange-brown, love and green, faith, you know, sin, evil. You go down through there. That's how they, they have the thing laid out. Right there, you can see it. So you, you read through it and you can see what the text is about. Kind of a neat idea. And a few more things to show here. Financial Breakthrough Spiritual Warfare Bible by Morris Sorello. <laughs> oh boy. I'm sure that'll have some, uh, you know, interesting footnotes in it. I mean, there you go for the charismaniacs out there. Financial Breakthrough Spiritual Warfare Bible. Order now, and you get your free, you know, bottle of holy order, or whatever else. Mars Sorello, if you don't know, is a charismatic faith healer guy. So, yeah. Like I said, this, this guy sends some really interesting stuff.
And here we have the Keyword Study Bible, Hebrew Greek thing, King James Version. And there it is. So, another interesting one for the collection. Um, Beth Moore, endorsed by Beth Moore, oh brother. And I don't mean she's a brother. Probably tries to be, but we won't go there. And now, for the grand finale, the coolest book that he sent. And he, you know, sent donations along with that too. So, thank you very much, brother, for that. But the, the really cool one, this thing is a very unique book. I've never seen one like this. It's an old book, which I like old books very much. Here it is. I'll show you in the next video. No, just kidding. Here it is. Look at that. The New Panorama Bible Study Course. Okay, I'll have to hold this thing back here. <laughs> Super neat. It's dispensational charts and things like that. There, it's explaining some things. I, of course, I couldn't open up to a dispensational chart. But there you go. Like that. Definitely an interesting uh, book for the collection. There we go. Look at that. Isn't that neat? I love stuff like this. It's so unique. So it's it's pretty good. The dispensational charts, I would disagree a little bit with it, but it's it's pretty much, you know, uh, good. Um, I, I take the, the one dispensation, you know, the law and the prophets are until John, since that time the kingdom of heaven is preached. I think that that's a dispensation right there when Jesus shows up on the earth. Well, they don't think that way. They, they make another dispensation. But they still say seven dispensations. I say seven dispensations. I would never part company with the people who wrote the book. They're probably, you know, with the Lord by now, but I'm sure. Um, Fleming H. Revel Company from New Jersey. Uh, you don't really know publication date when this thing was written, but they have a bunch of other ones on the back too, the Panorama Bible Study courses. So you can look at that. But very unique. I love books like that. Uh, really neat. So thank you out there again to the brother that sent it. And um, if you ever want to, if you ever find unique books, I know a lot of the books in my collection were actually sent to me um, from people, uh, a whole lot of them. Uh, this brother has sent quite a few. Um, this one here, uh, some friends of the ministry sent us this, The History of the Jews. That was really neat. Um, this one was sent to us. Uh, these two were sent to us by the same brother, this, the Sahih al-Bukhari or whatever there, the Muslim stuff and the Noble Quran that was sent to us, both of these. We actually had a Muslim send us these books up here on Islam. Um, and so, you know, a lot of what we get is actually sent to us. Um, we do like to go to used bookstores, of course. Um, but we, you know, due to time constraints, we can't always spend a lot of time there really looking through all the books. And because of the baloney virus now, a lot of those have shut down. So, <laughs> But uh, if you ever get to a bookstore, you see something unique and you say, hey, I think uh, Brother Brian or Sister Catherine would really like to have the book. We sure would appreciate sending it to us. Uh, that, that's great. So it's a good way to donate to the ministry, in other words. Um, but I just want to say something here about uh, some of this stuff. Um, and that is a book like this, the International Encyclopedia of Secret Societies and things. Um, I'm not recommending that the average Christian have this stuff in their homes. We're researchers. We, and this, we don't live here. This is just an office for us. Um, but be careful about occult books in your home and whatever else. Um, I have had occult books and then I get rid of them and things. Um, but a lot of times we use this type of stuff so we can show people um, connections between organized religion and the occult like this. But the Lord has called us into a specific ministry. Um, if you're not called into that type of a ministry of exposing things and whatever else and, and research like what we do, this is King James Video Ministries. It's what we do. Um, so I don't recommend that the average person has this in your home. It's not that we're better than anybody else. It's just we're different. The Lord called us into a different ministry than most people. So just got to Put that in there. Be careful what books you have in your home. Like I said, for us, 
we'll research it, we'll bring things out, and a lot of times after that we get rid of some of the occult stuff and whatever else. Uh, new versions. Um, I would say my, my best advice for, for people that have new versions is get rid of them. Burn them, throw them in the garbage. Don't take them to a Goodwill or try to sell them on eBay or something. Get rid of them, destroy them. Um, but if you're going to show people the errors in them, then make sure that you put a little disclaimer in the front of them. I don't know if I have any in any of these right now. Can't point to them, but you put just write with marker. You know, this is not a real Bible. Real Bible is the King James Bible. Um, there, I don't think there's a problem with that. But just be careful what you have in your home. So, enough said. And uh, as we'll see in the next video. Thank you for watching.